What's happening there fishing buddies and welcome to another episode of Wobbly's Gone Fishing. Now today we're going to be playing the ultimate fishing simulator and we're going to be focusing on Betty Lake and catching the bull trout. There we go, there's the bull trout. That's what we're going to be focusing on, this fish here. Now I haven't actually been playing this game very long, but have you seen this here, this fish level? This is just on this particular fish, the bull trout. It seems I've got to get that fish level full all the way to the end before I can actually catch a bigger bull trout. I don't quite like that. Um, right, let me just change this to pounds, because I don't like kil kilograms. Kilo <laughs> kilograms. I'm, I'm more used to pounds of being from the UK here. But yeah, that fish level, let's just go back to the bull trout. It seems we have to fill that fish level all the way to the end. We have to catch so many fish before we can catch bigger fish. That doesn't seem quite right. I don't like that. If that if I'm right there, I don't like that. Uh, maybe they'll, they'll change that, but... Uh, you know, fishing's all about chance. You, you you cast in, you never know what you're going to catch. Now, I know I'm not going to catch any bigger fish until that's full, if I'm right. And uh, if I am right, I don't quite like that. I think they need to uh, look at that and perhaps uh, change it. Anyway, let's have a look at what equipment I'm going to be using today. Uh, that's the line I've got. I'm going to be using this line here. And then we're going to be focusing, I'm just going to be focusing on this one spoon here. This is what I'm going to be using because um, I've been using this just recently on this lake and uh, I've had good results with it. So I thought I'd just do a session just using that one spoon, uh, totally unedited and just go for it and see if it's as good as uh, when I when I used it previously. Um, let's just get a room here. Yeah, I'll go for a private room. I can't deal with the multiplayer rooms because you just got useless chat up in the top left hand corner and you just get people, yo, what's happening? And then they reply back, nothing much. And then, you know, yo, hey, and all that lot, you know. And I'd rather be fishing and seeing all that in the top left hand corner. So, private room, here we go. And I can't be typing, I wanna be I wanna be fishing. So this is a private a private room. So let's have the first cast. Keep an eye on the time in the top right hand corner and um we'll just see how it goes. I'm just gonna cast in and um just basically I'm reel in um just steady and slow and that's it. I'm not gonna do anything special. So I have found, I have found out, I have discovered with this particular spoon that I've only ever caught bull trout on it so far. Um, I haven't been on the other lakes, so I've not tested it on the other lakes. This is just specifically on this lake, Betty Lake. I've only ever caught bull trout with it. So um, I don't know if you can catch anything else with this spoon on this lake. If you have, let me know in the comment section below. Let me, um, you know, what have you caught on it on this lake? Are you catching any other types of fish? Because it's just been the bull trout I've I've caught with this spoon on this lake so far. Right. Didn't have much luck there, did we, guys? <laughs> now I have unlocked the fish hunter high, so that's quite useful. You can you can press that button and you can see where the fish are. But let's let's have them move around. I do tend not to stay in one place. Um, I do tend to uh, move around quite a lot, and it's only a small lake. This is you can cover quite a good distance. Let's uh, let's use the fish eyes. A couple of fish down there. Let's hope one of them is a bull trout because I'm sure you c I've only ever caught bull trout with this spoon on this lake at the moment. So uh, let's uh, let's give it a go. And I'm just going to pull back, reel in, should I say, just straight and slow. I'm gonna jerk it about or anything. And I have caught fish at various depths. I've, I've caught them on the bottom, you know, in the middle. Um, never really tried it on the near the top, but uh, I've had luck at various depths with this spoon, just reeling it in straight and slow. Now, this is unedited. I'm probably an unedited session. I'm probably not gonna catch anything. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm probably wasting my time, but we will see. We're after the bolt. I'm sorry, if a bolt trout comes along, it will go for that. Again. You know, nothing. Nothing again. Keep an eye on the time and the temperatures at the top. Um, that might affect things. I know the temperature was a lot lower the last time I used this spoon, but let's have a go over here. You can cover a lot of the lake just simply from fishing in the middle of it um, on this particular lake, Betty Lake, because it's not that big. Is that a bull trout? Bang! We're in! We're in! <laughs> We've got one, finally! Is that the third attempt? Like I say, this is a totally unedited fishing session. I'm um, just testing the spoon out because I had used it previously and I was pulling out a lot of bull trout with it. But um, I think the temperature on that session was a lot lower, so the temperature is a little bit higher today. And I'll just fish, I think, between 7 and 8 o'clock. Can you change the time? I've not looked at that. Can you actually accelerate the time in this game? I'm not, uh, I've not looked into that yet. Let me know in the comments below if you've discovered that. Because I've only just um, recently started playing it. Now, everybody's an expert when it comes how to uh, play the fish. Um, to me, if I can get the fish on the bank without snapping the line, job done. But you'll find everybody's an expert, and you know a lot of people do it different ways. As long as I get that fish on the bank, that's job done. He's putting up a little bit of a fight. There you go. We've got him. It's a bull trout. Now, if I'm right, this spoon is only going to catch bull trouts. So, uh, there we go. <laughs> Let's give him a kiss. Chuck him back in. <laughs> let's, let's try the old fish eye again. See, you can see the fish. I don't know if any of them are bull trouts, though. But let's have another go down there. Now, it seems, you know, this game... Going to have to do an awful lot of grinding away if you want to catch the bigger fish, it seems, with the current system that they've got in place. At the beginning of the video, I was showing you the particular fish, the bull trout. That's just on that one bull trout, where I've got to level it all the way up to the end, and then it looks like then you'll start catching bigger fish. So you've got to do that on all the species of fish. There we go. This There's the bull trout coming in. Bang! He's got it. We've got him. <laughs> Virtually straight away that was. Half the job is actually locating the bull trout on the lake. If you can locate the bull trout on Betty Lake, this, uh, this spoon will bag you a bull trout. Now, I don't know if it's as good on the bigger ones, because obviously they've got that grinding away, leveling up system. For the bigger bull trouts, if there's bigger bull trouts in here, we're probably going to have to use, well obviously different kit, we're going to probably, you know, going to have to use stronger line as well, but probably different um, spoons. But I have caught an awful lot of bull trout with this particular spoon. I've had more success with this one than the silver one. At this particular point in the game where I am. I think I'm around level 6. There we go. It's another bull trout. <laughs> Look at that. Let's give him a kiss. Chuck him back in. Let's use the fish hunter high again. Locate the fish. See the right under my feet there. Let's have another try down here. Because we've, we've had a bit of luck in this direction. See, I don't think that one there, let's just come in as a bull trout. It's only a bull trout. Is that a bull trout? It's only a bull trout that's going to go for this. I 
and I was using this yesterday and um, I was catching them you know virtually it probably was luck I was catching one after the other after the other and I thought I'd try again oh ho, 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 I thought that I thought that fish was going to have a go at that then was that a bull trout I don't know these type of fish at all I have fish for carp in the UK um, I used to do a lot of carp fishing that's the only sort of fish I know carp <laughs> coarse fish in the UK really I don't know these sort of fish that well alright let's change direction let's go down here if you don't succeed in one place use your fish eye uh, or just move around the lake it's only a small lake this just move around let's try this direction I'd rather put a video up of uh, an, an actual fishing session than, than editing it and putting it together as I'm catching one after the other after the other. Um, and then you're saying, hey, I'm not catching as many fish as that. <laughs> That's not a bull trout, is it? So he's going to ignore that. We want a bull trout. Come on. Where are the bull trouts? So we're off to a slow start. Hopefully it'll pick up. Um shortly it's just locating the fish you locate the bull trout you know you're laughing they really do go for this spoon it doesn't look as though we're going to have any luck here on this particular cast right let's go back over here use the old fish eye there's a lot of fish right under my feet here don't know if the bull trout's though let's just move down here and let's cast um, where all them fish were let's cast down the lake and see if we can bag a bull trout see if one of them are a bull trout Let's just hope as time goes on we can actually locate some bull trouts. <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable. Like I said, I was using this yesterday and bang, one after the other, after the other, after the other, was pulling out bull trouts. But the temperature was a little bit lower than what it is now. So I don't know if that's got a great deal of effect on the fishing. I presume it would have. No luck again. Let's go down here. That's fishing, I suppose, isn't it? It's funny because, like I say, yesterday it, I started at uh, the time was seven. I think it was seven a.m. in the morning, and I went till eight a.m. and I pulled about twelve bullfish out, bull trouts out, <laughs> real quickly. Probably more than twelve. Let's go here. I'm just not locating the fish very well at the moment. That's my problem. If there's a bull trout in the vicinity, it should jump straight on that spoon. <laughs> no special technique I use. I just, you know, pull it back straight and slow. Reel it back in straight and slow. And usually, usually, I get a bull trout. Nothing again. <laughs> oh, it's a game of chance, it seems. Let's have a look with the fish hunter high. They're all green, that's the thing. I, I'm not... I can't sort of distinguish the different species of fish when I use that fish hunter high. They just all look green. Let's have another go. Pot luck. Let's take a look down here. That's not a bull trout, so he's, he's not going to go for that. I've, all, I've found so far it's just bull trouts that are going for this spoon on this lake. That's just on this lake, by the way. Is that a bull trout? No, it's 
think Warzik didn't go for it. Oh, come on. He's a ball trout. That's a ball trout. Bang, we're in. We've got one. At last, I nearly fall off the rock there. I have noticed on this game as well, well you can actually move the guy around um, as, you know, as you're actually playing the fish. Because I've played some fishing games and you're sort of stuck rigid in one place. You can actually move around um, in this game. So keep an eye on my tension because I nearly snapped the line there and the line isn't very strong. So uh, I always play it safe with this line on. It's a braided line by the way. I think I showed you that at the beginning of the video. But, uh, just take it steady. Just try, I'm just trying to tire the fish out as you do. Stick the rod up in the air. Really in. Everybody's an expert. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to talk about my technique as long as I can get it on the bank that's job done <laughs> but today we're focusing on the uh, on the bull trout and uh, this particular spoon on this lake There we go, we've got him. Let's give him a kiss and chuck him back in. They do put up a, a bit of a fight, don't they, the fish in this game? Even the small ones, I've noticed, um, put up a bit of a fight. Right. What, let's try potluck this way. I just cast in various directions when I'm in the middle. Occasionally use the fish eye, but it, it, it's never made much difference to me at the moment. Let's uh, let's try potluck in this direction. See, that's not a bull trout. I don't think it is. I think the bull trout's the more silvery in colour. I don't know what that fish is there to the left. I don't think that's a bull trout. I think that's a bull trout that's coming into the left there I've just seen. But he's gone out of camera view. See that fish is following it but he's just not interested. <laughs> oh that's a bull trout. Bang we're in. <laughs> Look at that. I can say to you if there's a bull trout in the vicinity. It will it, you know, it, it will gobble that spoon up. It really will. So yeah, we've uh, we bagged yourself another bull trout here. Keep an eye on the time in the top right hand corner and the temperature. It's still it's overcast as well. It's an overcast day. That one came in quite easy. There we go. It's another bull trout. So let's give him a kiss. And let's chuck him back in. So uh, yeah, so it's overcast at the moment. I'm only going to fish this session doing till around about 8 8 a.m. and then I'm going to go home have a have a cup of tea and my breakfast <laughs> let's try again So we'll try again in this direction. Not having much luck, I really aren't. Uh, you can cover a lot of the lake, like say fishing in the middle I have discovered. Normally I'm catching the bull trout. It's probably going to pick up near the end of the video. <laughs> right. Come on. Come on fishy fishy fishy. We got the camera crew down here and we're not catching any fish. 
Well, that's fishing. That's not a bull trout, is it, to the right? Oh, dear. Maybe I should be using another bait. Seem to be more of them fish about. I don't think that's a bull trout. It isn't, is it? Go away. We don't want you in the area. Where's the bull trouts? It's all a learning curve for me, by the way. Jack of all games, master of none. <laughs> no, we don't go at one. Let's cast out in the middle. Let's go down that direction. Well, it's not in the middle, is it? But let's go. Let's go down. Down there. Let's try down there. I could edit this and put all my catches together, but uh, I don't want to do that. I want to show you. Um, what this fishing session has really been like today. I think the game, is the game still in early access? So it's all subject to change, so... Uh, things, things may change regarding, regarding the fish leveling system and things. And we're not going to catch anything here, are we? I think I might just give up. <laughs> oh, dear. Dear. Is that no? Well, some days you catch them, some days you don't. And this seems one of them days when we're not going to catch them. Let's go in this direction. Maybe I should change the title of this video on how not to catch any fish because we're not having any luck. We've only caught a few. Normally I've caught a lot more. I think fish locate locating the fish is a major key as in real life. Uh, I know this um, this spoon works because I've used it a few times and I and I've had huge success. But when we bring Wobbly TV Productions down to the lake, the fish seem to run and hide, or just swim away and hide. <laughs> oh dear. That's fishing. Let's try the old fish hunter. The fish hunter eye. They're all under my feet, the fish are, I think. I think I need to move there. They're all under my feet. Um, judging from that fish eye. Let's have a go over here. Surely now we've got to catch one because it's about time we did. If not, I might as well pack this fishing lark in because I'm no good at it. <laughs> oh dear. Every time I hit record on these fishing games, I don't catch any fish. Oh, hang on, there's one coming in. Look at this. There you go. He's stalking it. He's stalking it. Bang! We've got him. At last. A little bit of action. Watch you don't snap the line there. Wobbles on the tension. Put that rod up in the air. Try to tire him out. They put up a little... They put up a good fight, these fish do, in this game. I was... I did notice the other day. I got... Uh, I'm using the joypad um, today. And I did notice I got a little bit of a rumble feature on my joypad. It doesn't seem as powerful um, today. Um, they need to uh, enhance that a little bit more for the joypad users. Because it's great when you get that little rumble on your joypad. The feedback on your joypad. It's absolutely fantastic in fishing games. That's why I like to use the joypad more so than the mouse. Because you do get a little bit of a rumble on the joypad. On the feedback. Um, they want to enhance that. I like to see that enhanced a bit more because I can feel it working, but it's not very powerful. Yay, look at that. Let's give him a kiss. <laughs> and chuck him back in. <laughs> at last. Look, see, where are the fish? They're all under my feet here. Perhaps if I was using a, a grub, a worm, I might have a few. Let's have a cast over there. I'm just staying in the one location here, just casting around. Not having a great deal of success though today. Like I say, I've caught them on the bottom with this spoon, I've caught them in the middle, I've caught them near the top. 
not on the top I've never caught any but just near the top I have I think there's one coming in. I think he's, there's I think there's a bull trout coming. Oh, it's getting exciting now. We're on the rolls. Let's do it. Go bang! We're in, boys. Yeah, we bagged ourselves another one. At last, it's starting to things are starting to happen now. Yay! I just take extra care at the moment when I'm playing the fish and uh, reeling them in because I don't think the line is very, uh, very strong. It is braided line, but um, I don't think it's that strong. So it's quite easy. It is quite easy. I know it is quite easy to actually snap the line. So uh, I tend to wear. Uh, look, look. Oh, oh, see, a little bit aggressive there. Nearly snapped the line. I, I generally tend to end. End. I generally tend to go. <laughs> oh dear! What are you talking about? I generally tend to be on the cautious side. Look at that one, very big, one very big, and he nearly snapped me line there. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Mm, chuck him back in. <laughs> We're on a roll. Fish hunter hide. Let's have a look. There you go. There was a few over there. We got to bag one from over there. We're going to get one, surely. I'll be disappointed now if we don't. But we should do. So I have noticed it is slightly overcast and sunny, cloudy and sunny. Um, maybe I need a sunny day and this, uh, this, this method will be more effective. But it is early. It's still early in the morning. I'm only gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish shortly. I won't catch a few more. I mean, I have caught more in a session, but uh, it's the way it goes with fishing, I suppose. And uh, and games like this. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you're not. And it's just a matter of recording when you're lucky, I suppose. Nothing. There's nothing here whatsoever. There isn't even a fish in this direction look not even a fish look look at that we've caught them all there's none left <laughs> oh dear nothing absolutely nothing there oh man what are you doing wobbles pull it in Fish hunter high, look, oh look, there's a few over there, we've got to get one from over there again, surely, surely we have. Nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> oh, hang on. No, oh, no, that's not what we're after. He won't go for that. They, oh, there's one, there's one coming in. I think there's one coming in. Is the one coming in there to the right? No, no. We don't. Them fish won't go for that. <laughs> Look, they're escorting it along. <laughs> oh, dear. We had a fish escort then on the spoon. I don't know. I reckon they were playing submarines or something, them two fish. <laughs> Let's move down the lake round here, down here. That's the best thing about this Betty Lake, you can move around it quite easily. Let's go down here because there is another little favourite spot of mine I've had huge success at. And it's just down here. And what you can do is you can step over, but make sure you've got your waders on, otherwise you're going to get wet feet. You can step over onto this rock, and I have had a little bit of success down here. Let's use the hunter high again. You can see a few fish down there. Let's give it a cast down there and see if we can get anything. You have to watch you don't fall off that little rock, though, or you're going to get wet. Right, it's not very deep here. I've got a funny feeling I'm not going to catch anything as well. Let's have a go. 
So I've not had a vast deal. Oh, bang, we're in. I was just going to say, I was a little bit worried we weren't going to get anything there. Look at that. He went for that. He nearly pulled me off the rock there. Nearly snapped the line as well. Take it steady on the tension wobbles. Dear, oh dear. I nearly fell off. <laughs> nearly fell off the little rock I'm standing on. It sometimes seems to take for absolutely ages to reel these fish in, but uh, that's the way it goes. If you go too aggressive and too fast, you just snap the line. I suppose it depends, as in real life, very much on your um, on the equipment you're actually using. The early days for me, still in this game, I think this is the second video. I've actually done. I think the uh, the previous one was uh, we were using the bobber, and that was the very first time I came down to this lake. I think. Whoa! <laughs> See the rod bend then. Oh, we got him! Look at that! There we go. Another one. I told you that's all I seem to catch on this spoon on this lake at the moment. Look at that. Let's give him it. <coughs> Let's give him a big smackaroony of a kiss and chuck him back in. <laughs> Let's just get my camera out and take a screenshot of that so when I get home I can tell the guys down the pub I actually did catch a fish. <laughs> oh dear. A lot of fish under me feet again. Perhaps I should be moving, but uh, let's try again down here. You never know. Will we catch one? It's got to be a game of chance and luck, really, hasn't it? Uh, fishing games. Oh, we, oh, I thought we were straight in then, but the fish was going in the opposite direction. <laughs> oh, dear. No, it doesn't look as though we're going to entice a bull trout. In this, uh, and that, in this particular location. We've had a few. I have caught more in previous sessions. But, uh, I don't know. Don't seem to be having a great deal of luck. Lots of fish around, but they're not probably not bull trout. So I don't know how to distinguish the fish with that fish eye. They just when I when I just press it, they're just all green. And let's try down there. It is an overcast and sunny day. Maybe I need a, a good sunny day. Maybe at midday or in the evening. Maybe in the evening it might be better using this. I might have more success. But this is a morning session. Uh, I did do better yesterday with it in the morning. It's, uh, the temperature was a lot. Uh, the temperature was slightly lower actually. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Even from a great distance, they can they can find that. You see that that bull trout was quite a way away, and uh, he just came straight in. Look at that. There we go. Don't snap the line, Wobbles. Don't snap the line. <laughs> We've had a few. It's not been the best um, session I've had um, with this uh, particular spoon in the mornings. It's, I have uh, I have caught a lot more 
But uh, I think I'll catch this one here. There we go. Let's give him a kiss and chuck him back in. I think I'll... Uh, I think I'm going to go home. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm going to call it a day now, guys. I'm going to stop recording and uh, hopefully you can join me, join me again where I've probably, hopefully, um, progressed a little bit more in the Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And we're going to go on, hopefully, to catch even bigger fish and i'm looking forward to getting on the boat so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up it really does help and leave uh and leave me a real nice comment thanks for watching guys